So a report by the South African Human Rights Commission has found that South Africa remains one of the most unequal countries in the world and incidents of discrimination in the workplace are still considerably high. Phil Brooks is from the South African Human Rights Commission and joins us now. Thank you so much for your time uh, today. So I think let's start with um, how everything was collected in the actual report. You yeah. had national hearings last year. Yeah. Good evening to you, Siki, and, uh, to the viewers at home. Well, how it basically works is that the South African Human Rights Commission has a constitutional mandate, right? Uh, three things that we really ne uh, need to take care of. We need to monitor, we need to protect, as well as educate on rights. And I think that this particular hearing served two of those purposes or two aspects of that mandate. And yeah. it's the protection element as well as the monitoring element. Now, what we need to understand is people spend most of the day in the workplace yeah. and that's where you encounter people from the various backgrounds and it should be the place where you foster diversity um, and, and respect for, for, you know, for, for that yeah. diversity but what we find is that there's still massive amounts of, of discrimination and it, unfair discrimination. And is it in the categories that we used to, so race, gender, um, disability and, and, and those sorts of categories sure. or have they expanded? So that's, uh, you know, the first categories that we would look at. But, I mean, there's other categories that we're not taking into account. For example, on the basis of religion, uh, on the basis of, of um, uh, sexual orientation, uh, gender, gender expression, sexual expression. None of these things. You yeah. know, all of these things we might not think of immediately, but those are also areas where we find a deficit. Goodness. So what do you think the issue is? Is it a reflection of how what's happening in broader society and, and then it's becoming a microcosm in, in the workplace? What's at the heart of all of that? Uh, that's exactly the issue. Um, what happens within broader society outside of the workplace then starts translating within the workplace. Mm. Um, and um, what, what some of the findings were was that within the report is that in some instances it's ignorance, people aren't aware that they are actually, uh, you know, acting in, an, uh, yeah, <laughs> acting in an unconstitutional way. Yeah. I think a lot of the time we do discriminate and we try to justify it on one or the other moral or religious basis or any, you know, numerous categories that we could okay. try to justify it on. But we do, do not understand that it's unconstitutional and therefore unlawful in yeah. our action. So that's one area that definitely... And are victims on. willing to speak up or do they feel that they can speak up in their workplace? Well, that's part of what the report shows is that there's a high level of... Uh, people not reporting what mm. is happening to them in terms of discrimination within the workplace, which is actually quite sad because it means that it, 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 it's, it's perpetuated. Apart from that, it also shows that there is a fear of a culture of bullying within the work environment. So how do we make um, our laws, our policies really come alive um, in these spaces? Because we do have laws and policies exactly. against this type of, of discrimination and yet it carries on. So there was a recommendation that, of course, the Department of Labor needs to go back and look at some of the legislation um, regulating this particular space. But I think that the laws, in the, in a, although perhaps not perfect, are quite adequate. Um, but there are also other recommendations that we looked at, for example, the training of employers okay. in understanding um, what are forms of unfair discrimination, um, looking at the unions and being able to strengthen their yeah. constituency in understanding what unfair discrimination is and giving them a voice. Okay. That is very important. But I mean, other interesting aspects that we looked at is, for example, um, uh, buildings. And yeah. uh, especially, you know, uh, many people work for the state or for various state departments. Um, have, you know, has government gone in there to look at whether those buildings are accommodating to people with disabilities? Yeah. Um, you know, and, and there's numerous other levels that we can look at. Um, what is there age discrimination within the workplace? That's another form of discrimination. I hadn't thought of that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I mean, uh, you yeah. know, at times it's uh, perhaps, um, you know, many employees would see it as being less risky to take on a young person straight out of school, out of university at a lower salary than someone that's a little more experienced and a little closer to, let's call it a little closer yeah. to retirement. So for employers who are interested in these findings and have want to see what sort of recommendations there are, how do they get a hold of the report? So all they have to do is go to our website. All our reports are on our website. This report should be on our website, saahrc.org.za. Okay. Um, and um, there is a section where you can download all our reports and you'll see it there. It's, it's actually very nicely set out. Great. Thanks for your time. Today, yeah. that is Gashwal Brooks, who is with the South African Human Rights Commission.